Hi friends, today I'm going to read to you about another holiday that happens in December. It's called Kwanzaa. This is a book called My First Kwanzaa. And Kwanzaa starts the day after Christmas happens and it lasts for seven nights. So if you remember, Hanukkah lasted for eight nights. Kwanzaa is a little different. It lasts for seven nights. But during Kwanzaa, families light candles on something that's like a, men a menorah. They light candles on a kinara. So they don't have eight candles like, uh, like Hanukkah does. They have seven. And theirs is not called a menorah. It's called a kinara. So let's read a little bit about a family that celebrates Kwanzaa. Okay, here we go. It's called My First Kwanzaa. So some people celebrate Kwanzaa and some people do not. My first Kwanzaa. Hooray, hooray, it's time to get ready for Kwanzaa. First, we get the Kinara. It's made of shiny wood. I put in seven candles, three red, one black, three green. We light a candle for every night to celebrate a special idea. Hmm, let's read a little bit more. Mommy brings the kikombe, the unity cup. For each child, we place an ear of corn, called the muhindi, on a straw mat. My brother adds apples, yams, nuts, and squash. The fruits and vegetables, the mazao, remind us of the end of the harvest and the beginning of the planting season. So you can see right here, the family's all together. They have their kikombe, their unity cup to drink from and share. And they have all kinds of fruits and vegetables here on their mat called the muhindi. Very nice. Oh, sorry. And the beginning of the planting season, just like in Africa. So they're thinking about their family members that lived before them that lived in Africa. Or maybe now these, this family lives in Africa. But it's a holiday. Kwanzaa is a holiday that comes from Africa. All right. On the first day of Kwanzaa, now the first day is called Umoja. Can you say that? Try to say it. Umoja. Go ahead. Umoja. On the first day of Kwanzaa, neighbors come to visit. We ask, Habarigani. That means, what's the news? Like, what's up? What's going on? We laugh and talk and sing. We are friends and family. That nice family getting together. So that's on day one of Kwanzaa. Umoja. On the second day of Kwanzaa, now you can see in this picture they have two candles lit because it's the second day of Kwanzaa. So the second day is called Kuji Chagulia. On the second day of Kwanzaa, Kuji Chagulia, I ask mommy to braid my hair in a fancy African way. It makes me feel proud. Look at that awesome hairstyle. That's a fancy African hairstyle. Braids and special beads. All right, now we're on day three of Kwanzaa called Ujima. Ujima, you try to say it. Ujima. Did you try to say um, Kuji, Kuji Chagulia? Did you try that one? Kuji Chagulia? Now try Ujima. Ujima, that's day three of Kwanzaa. See, three candles lit on the kinara right there. On the third day of Kwanzaa, we plant flowers in the lot next door. We all work together to make our neighborhood beautiful. Look at that. They're planting flowers and taking care of their neighborhood and working together while they do it. Okay, here we are on day four of Kwanzaa. There's four candles lit. One, two, three, four. Day four is called Ujamaa. Ujamaa. You try to say that. Ujamaa. <clears throat> On the fourth day of Kwanzaa, we buy special food for our celebration. We like to shop in our neighborhood stores to keep our businesses strong. So this is the day they go shopping at stores that are owned by people in their neighborhood. All right, now we're on to day five of Kwanzaa. One, two, three, four, five candles are lit on the Kinara. Okay, day five is called Nia. Trying to say that, Nia. On the fifth day of Kwanzaa, I dream of what I can be. 
Someday I will be an African dancer, just like my Aunt Tasha. Oh my goodness, look at that special dancing that she's doing, just like her aunt. That looks like fun. Okay, here we are on the sixth day of Kwanzaa. There's one, two, three, four, five, six candles lit on the Kinara. The sixth day is called Kuumba. Try to say that, Kuumba. On the sixth day of Kwanzaa, my cousin and I paint a clay pot and weave some baskets. We will make our house beautiful. Oh my goodness, so look at that. They're making some, some Kwanzaa art. They're weaving baskets and doing beautiful clay projects too. Okay, here we are on the seventh day of Kwanzaa. This is the last day of Kwanzaa. It's called Imani. Try to say that, Imani. On the seventh day of Kwanzaa, we light the last candle to show our faith in ourselves, our family, our future, and our past. Look at that nice family all together, thinking about their past. So things that happened maybe when they were little or growing up or together. And they're thinking of their future, like when the kids grow up and get big. And they're thinking about their family and how much they love each other. That's a nice thing to do on the last day of Kwanzaa. Grandma gives us zawadi, which is gifts for promises we have kept all year. Zawadi is the gifts they give each other. A handmade doll for me and an African shaker gourd for my brother. So the girl got a little doll right here. And the boy got, this is a shaker gourd. So it's kind of like a musical instrument that he'll shake and it will make noise. At last, it's time for the feast. We call it Karamu. Friends come over and everyone cooks delicious African food. The house smells so good. Spicy chicken and sweet yams. We all take a sip from the unity cup and share our wonderful meal. Oh my goodness, look at this feast called the Karamu. Oh my goodness, what a nice family. Then we sing, dance, play music, and celebrate. Happy Kwanzaa! Oh my goodness, what a lovely celebration. That is so nice. The end. I hope you learned a little bit about Kwanzaa, friends. So even if you might not celebrate Kwanzaa, it's good to learn a little bit about it in case you ever meet somebody who does celebrate Kwanzaa. Then you'll know all about how they celebrate and why they celebrate. All right, friends, I will see you later. Bye.